You've made such intriguing design choices for the castle, my dear. They must be inspired. Thank you, Vivian. I'm glad you approve. When things have settled down a bit, I will take you to Val Royo and introduce you to my seamstress. And appearances are important. We can't have you mistaken for a commoner. I suppose it's important to show that we're an authority to be respected. Not just respected, my dear. Awed, feared, aspired to. You command an army of the faithful, outfitted by the coin of the nobility. You must be a woman who commoners aspire to be, and to whom nobles bow. And you think I can accomplish this purely through fashion? It is a weapon in your arsenal. Don't overlook it, my dear. The stories of your accomplishments will spread, and with them, doubt. Are you truly the woman from the tales? They will question what they've heard, but they will believe what they see. They must see someone greater than legends. If that's your standard for me, what does the Divine have to live up to? Andraste and the Maker cast very large shadows. The Divine absolutely must set the example for all Thedas. She must seem to be the embodiment of the Maker to the Faithful. She needs the authority of the Maker and the charisma of Andraste. It will be no small task to fill that vacant throne. <laughs>